So this is data set part two on the data test. So from the information we have this graph, we have some numbers. First question it says, identifies the cause of change of shape of the curve at the 182nd mark. So pretty much why did it go from an incline to flat? So hopefully you know already, maybe you don't. So when it's flat on the graph, all of the energy goes into changing state. So it's changing from water to um, a gas before it was the energy was going into increasing the temperature. And we know that the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. So all of the energy goes into changing state at 100 80 seconds when the graph is flat. Before that, the energy was going to increasing the temperature. Ah, and the graph is flat, which is the boiling point of water. So talking about changing in state, boiling point of water, and before that, the energy going into increasing the temperature is what we're looking for. All right, question um, two or item six, calculate the specific heat capacity of water. So we're trying to find out what is the C value. You may remember this formula. So we need to find out all of these parts to figure out what C is. This formula is also useful. So Q is equal to power times time. So we've got a thousand joules of energy per second. And the change of temperature is from zero to 150. So the time is 150 seconds. So that's the total power, uh, that's the total energy going into the water to change the temperature. Um, next, we need to write down the mass. So let's have a look. Where's the mass? We have this, which is 500 mils. Hopefully, you know, one mil is equal to one kilogram. So this is 500, ah, uh, sorry, one gram. And we want it in kilograms. So that's our mass. Next, we need the change in temperature. So the, the constant steady upward change in temperature goes from 25 to 95 and then it flattens out at 95. So that's delta so that's delta T. Final temperature minus initial which is 95 minus 25. So sub everything in Q mass and delta T. Divide both sides by these, you're left with C on this side. And type it into your calculator. So C is approximately 4,285.71 and this is in joules, kilograms to the negative one, degrees Celsius to the negative one. That's the units for C.
All right. Next. So that's question two or item six. Next, identify whether the claim was supported by the evidence. So the claim is temperature change of fixed mass of water is directly proportional to the quantity of heat. So as the temperature increased, um, the quantity of heat inside the water also increased. So temperature proportional to Q, heat. So each second there was more Q in the system. So the claim is supported in the first 150 seconds, the temperature and energy increased in a linear Next, predict the effect of using half the volume of water in the experiment by sketching the shape of the graph. So, half of 180 is 90, and then it will flatten out. And give you a reason. Half the water means half the particles, which takes half the time to heat up to boiling point. So yeah, that's, that's the two marks, the graph, halfway, and the explanation half the particles means half the time to heat up. The boiling point, so it heats up quicker.